During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about how deep farmers till. Well, first of all, we have to look at why farmers would consider doing tillage on their farm anyway, where they're turning the soil over. What are the purposes of that? Well, one of those purposes may be to get rid of some of the plant residue that's left over from the previous crop. After corn, for example, there are a lot of corn stalks on top of the ground, and for farmers to get a nice clean seed bed, they like to till some of those stalks under and get them to start breaking down in the field. Now, if you're tilling corn stalks, you got a couple of things going on here. You may have to go a little bit deeper to try and chop things up than if, say, you were out in a field that was harvested for silage and you've got virtually no residue on top of the ground. In that case, a farmer may say, you know, I don't have to till so deep. So moving residue and getting residue into the soil to break down could be one of the purposes that influences the depth of tillage. Well, I'll give you a couple others. It's reducing weed and insect populations. So our dad used to talk about back in the old days, the only real way they had to bury weeds and insects was to use the moldboard plow. And by burying insects and weeds, then they had a lot less weed pressure and insect pressure the following year. So I just talked about this to an agronomist and a farmer just the other day because the farmer had all kinds of corn laying on the ground and he said, well, I want to go back to corn and what am I going to do? And I said, well, you can get a moldboard plow and you can bury that stuff eight, ten inches deep, something like that. So anyway, there are a number of different purposes why a farmer would till and why a farmer would till deep. But the reason why we're talking about this today is we do get a lot of questions from non-farmers just asking about this whole tillage thing and how deep really are farmers going. Well, it varies a lot depending on their tillage tool. Also, it depends on if you've got compaction at, say, 4 inches or at 10 inches down in the soil. Now, by compaction, I mean soil that's just packed tightly. Think about all the big equipment that runs through fields. You've got heavy wheel tracks, heavy equipment, I should say, putting all their weight on wheel tracks or, or even on tracks, and that weight gets spread out down onto the soil, and it can pack soil together. Now, if farmers are managing compaction uh, and they have dry years and light equipment, no big deal where the wheel track runs, eh, the compaction is only going to be an inch or two down in the soil. But when they've got wetter conditions, sometimes they can create deeper wheel tracks and if they've got heavier equipment, they can pack a little deeper in the soil. So farmers want to dig that tillage down just underneath the bottom of where they've created any compaction at all. Over the last 20 years, there's been a lot better equipment that's come out so farmers can actually plant with a fair amount of residue still in the field. A lot of farmers have gone to no-till or what we call reduced tillage just so they can number one reduce their cost and number two leave a lot of residue out there which reduces soil erosion. So anyway here's what I'm saying. Today versus let's say 40 or 50 years ago today more farmers than not are doing either no-till or some type of reduced tillage so they're not doing a lot of really deep tillage like we used to years ago. So to answer specifically the question of how deep farmers till, it all depends on the farmer and what he's trying to accomplish, he or she. And I would just say this, a lot of us on the farm are doing tillage in the two to four inch range, but you certainly could run out there with a chisel plow going, let's say eight to 10 inches deep. You could run a moldboard plow to a similar depth where the moldboard plow actually turns the soil. We do some very deep tillage down to 16, 18, even 20 inches deep and occasionally there are some farmers who will run a single shank in the field down to six or eight feet in the ground. This is very uncommon in our region of the country but it does happen in some areas. So this tillage depth question really varies depending on the farmer and what that person's trying to accomplish. It also may depend on what weed they're trying to till up. Can you identify this week's weed of the week? 